This is another great problem that we picked up off of Danica McKellar's Twitter feed at McKellar Map. When we go around, we need to find a pattern amongst all these numbers so that we can find our missing value. Well, if we start counting sequentially, there isn't a pattern between the values because some increase, some decrease, and it's never by the same amount. So let's start looking in combinations. Well, six times 10 gives me 60. 60 divided by six gives me 10. So there's a relationship amongst these three. If I look more closely, I could even rearrange it to say if I multiply these two, six times 10, that gives me 60, which is this value right here. If I come down here at the bottom, I can see something similar. Nine divided by five gives me 45. 45 divided by nine gives me five. So again, there's a relationship amongst these three numbers. If I look at them in another way, I could say five times nine gives me 45, which is this value down here. So if I look at this combination, six times five gives me 30, 30 divided by six gives me five. So again, we could see there's a combination amongst these values. If I rearrange that, I could say that it's six times five that gives me 30, which is this number here. So using that pattern, that means I should be able to multiply together my 10 and nine to give me my missing value. When I multiply together 10 and nine, that gives me 90. So that means our missing value in our octagon should be 90.